The toothpaste tube is a collapsible package with toothpaste in it. It has a round orifice on one of its ends that can be closed by different caps and closures to allow users to reseal its content when not in use. This is Desicons and today we're going to talk about the top 6 things you should probably know about the toothpaste tube and how it helped and keeps on helping toothpaste companies to achieve higher sales targets. But before moving on and staying on top of today's video theme, please make sure to squeeze that like button till it turns blue. Toothpaste in a tube was not a new invention. Johnson & Johnson introduced it in 1889. However, three years would have passed until Dr. Washington Sheffield, a new London dentist, came up with the idea of using a collapsible tube instead of a rigid one. An idea sparked by his son, who, after traveling to Paris and seeing some artists using them to store paints and inks, suggested to his father. The squeezable metal tube was invented in 1841 by John Goff Rand, an American portrait painter, and it intended to hold the artist's paint, allowing them to travel with their art supplies to further and more rural locations. It all started in 1886 with tooth powders. These forced users to dip their wet toothbrush into a glass jar so that the mixture between the powder and the water allowed it for a paste to be formed. Johnson & Johnson was the first company to package toothpaste into a tube in 1889, followed by Crème Dentifrique in 1892, Colgate in 1896 and Zonweis in 1898. The use of the collapsible tube to package toothpaste brought to the teeth cleaning products industry a much higher hygienic standard. This squeezable tube, which can be used to store viscous liquids, such as toothpaste, artist's paint, adhesive, ointments and so on, is basically a cylindrical, hollow piece with an oval profile that tends to be made out of plastic, paperboard, aluminium or any other metal. Generally speaking, it has a round orifice on one of its ends, with the opposite being sealed either by welding or folding to allow its content to retain their properties for longer. However, their shape forces them to be packaged in a cardboard box for the simple reason that it makes it easier to pack and stack. Made out of tin, zinc or lead, coated with wax on the inside, the early toothpaste tubes remain basically the same until a metal shortage during World War II. By then, manufacturers failed to use polyethylene tubes to package toothpaste due to a reaction caused by some of their ingredients. It would take almost 40 years, until the 1990s, for an all-plastic toothpaste tube to be introduced to the market. However, the toothpaste tube could not be completed without its ornamental pointed cap. Redesigned in 1921 by Johnson & Johnson's founder and engineer James Wood Johnson, this screw-on-top cap allowed it for the user to open the toothpaste tube sealed mouth effortlessly. James Wood Johnson's design is still used today to close a lot of metal collapsible packaged products. As for the reason behind the increase in toothpaste sales, let's say it's definitely an interesting one. However, before moving on, please make sure to subscribe to our channel so that we can keep on delivering these pearls of knowledge to you. And now, let's get on with it. The history dates back to the 1950s, when a man approached Colgate Palmolive and said that he had an innovation which would cost them almost nothing to implement but would yield an immediate 40% increase in sales. The man asked Colgate for $100,000 for the exclusive rights to the idea. However, the executives of the company were greedy and would not spend such money if it could be avoided, so they ended up thanking the man and saying that they would get back to him at a later stage. In the meantime, a big meeting with all the company's marketing and technical staff was summited, and the challenge to come up with ideas to increase sales by 40% for as little cost as possible was launched. Two weeks later, no useful ideas had emerged, so they called the man back and said he got a deal. After the completion of all the legal details and the money handed over, the man gave Colgate's executives a brown envelope containing a small piece of paper with the following words on it. Make the hole bigger. The whole rationale behind increasing the diameter was to increase volume consumption. 
the inherent characteristics of a smaller diameter opening restricted the volumetric consumption of the toothpaste. With the increase in size, consumption increased, reducing the replacement cycle and thereby increasing sales. A small, insignificant looking change, albeit with a huge impact. From its invention to the way used to increase toothpaste sales, going through its evolution, design materials and cap function, these were the top six facts about the toothpaste tube that you were probably not aware of. And that's it for today's video everyone. If you've enjoyed it, please leave us a like and subscribe to our channel. Make sure to turn that notification bell on and let us know in the comments section down below which products you would like to see featured in future videos. Thank you and we'll see you on the next one.